Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a guide video on how to get as many shot lanterns as we can with the crafting materials. As you can see over here, I have gotten about 13 crafting of the shot lantern within 5 minutes, and I'll show you guys the method and approach I went through those. With the correct method, you're looking at over 100 or 200 shot lanterns a day, and this can be really good. Now in this video, we'll look at the official interrupted map that was posted by Miho Yu. It is in Chinese, but it was tailor-made for the Latin Rite event. So there is a tab that shows all the materials on the map, there is a tab that shows you what materials drop the event item. And this is massive. You can see all the minerals that drop the event item, you can see all the monsters that drop the event item, and all the herbs that's around. So if you're looking for the event items, use this one, we'll talk about this on the second part. This is massive, and I'll have the links for you guys about this one as well. Now in order to get all three materials for the shell lantern, for the first material, for the Latin fiber, we need to be looting plants and also herbs. And this can be done very easily because there's a lot of them everywhere. And after that, if we defeat monsters, any of the monsters, hilly trolls, we can obtain the weak material. And this is also one of the easiest way to obtain those. The hardest one out of the three will be the plus right shard. Those are only obtained by mining materials. Currently, mining the silver mines and also mining the crystal mines also works. And I'll show you guys the replay of me finding those. I'll give you guys all the resources and guides to find a lot of them, over 200 a day. So let's start with the mining first. If we come over here, you can see that I have come to a location which I have not mined the crystal mine. And over here with Zone Lee, we can break the mines quite easily. As you can see, the plus right comes from the crystal mines. And for each of the crystal mines, you have a really, really high chance of getting one of the plus right. So if you're mining for about, you know, 30, 40 a day, you can get a lot of the mining materials. And this not only works with the crystal mines, it also works with the silver mines. So over here, you can see me finding a special hidden cave with the hilly trolls and also a lot of silver mine. So this is great. I can show you guys the combination. We can kill the hilly trolls for the little weak material. So here, you get to see all the material from the hilly trolls. Those are very easily obtainable. But what you want to do is, you want to go for the mines, because those are by far the hardest one to be found in the game. And I wanted to test the silver, the silver mines, because the crystal mines, there isn't a lot of them. But there's a lot of silver mines. Notice by de destroying the silver mines, I also got the plus right. That means I can destroy all the silver mines and get a lot of the plus right. Unfortunately, the Cold Lapis does not give us any of those. And you can see again over here, the White Iron, I keep calling them Silver Mines, the White Iron Chunks also give us the plus right, which is very nice. And finally, if we loot any of the plants, mushrooms or any herbs or any mint or any sweet flower, it will give us the particular Latin fiber. Those works very well. So everywhere you go, you can loot those. And if you're going for hunting for ingredients, hunting for herbs, this can work very well. Especially if you have someone like Clay on the team that also shows you the specialties of the location. Chi Chi also works for Living Harbor. So although we don't see on this side, on the flower, you get to see on the left hand side of the Latin fiber. Those are quite easily obtainable. Now it's time to have a look at how do we get a lot of those materials. So over here, if you have seen our latest video that was posted yesterday, we showed our official interaction map that was posted by Miho Yu yesterday. They planned for this as well, because over here there is also a left and right tab. In that tab, nothing too special, but what you can see is they will show you all the minerals that is on the map and all the particular resource. Notice those does not include the daily resets. So if you also have the daily resets, speaking to the blacksmiths, speaking to different NPCs, those also work. So those are the station ones, the white iron responds every two days, the crystal ones respond every three days. But if you're going for the daily ones, I do have a video for you guys to see all the locations of the daily ones. So you don't have to speak to other NPCs. Come to this video and find all of the daily ones to get all of your all materials for the shard lantern. Now because Asian server got this particular event first and we can loot those from the minerals, if you guys have not gotten those events, I might advise you guys to not go for those minerals. Until you have the event, don't loot your minerals. Because if you loot them before the event, you don't get the actual event materials. And you also put those on cooldown. So make sure you don't loot those before your event starts. Once it starts, collect all the minerals and then you get the event items. Similarly, you can go for all of those veggie tables, you can go for the herbs, you can go for the special ingredients, and all of those will give you a stem material. 
And finally, notice the particular tab over here. Again, this interactive map shows you all the items that drops the event material. So if you go for any of those, they should drop the event material. And the monsters that drops them are the Hilly Trolls. So you can see all the Hilly Trolls over here, the normal ones, the elite ones, those would drop the event material. So if you're using this page, and although you cannot speak Chinese, go to the first tab. This is the Latin Rite Festival Resource tab. And those will show you all of the monsters and all of the things that drop those materials. If you do want a special guide, so if you're looking for locations, if you want to see what's next to the teleportation point, this can be really nice. So go for the ones that's close to the teleportation point. Like over here, you can see a lot of flowers. Or over here, you can see a lot of those. So use the teleportation point and use the resource guide to find everything you want. And we can easily get over 200 of the shard Latin every day. Now before we finish the video, I want to share some of my farming routes for the Hilly Trolls and also for the minerals and also for other things. Because if you're in a rush for the shard Latin, you want to go to a teleportation point. I will go through some of the replace for that as well. So if you come to this particular location for the domain of Gangyun, if you follow my particular icons over here of the particular icons of the big troll camp, you get to see there's a lot of trolls. You can easily get over 30 hidden trolls on this particular site. And similarly, I also have a small pathway over here, which I start over here and I work towards over here. Along this side, you can get about 10 to 20 Hilly Trolls, and those are some of the quickest ways to get Hilly Trolls to kill them for the Latin material. Now coming over for the quick tip for the minerals. I'm sure most of us might have looted the crystal mines, so what I recommend is actually to go for the white minerals, or the silver mines I'm calling them. So using the interactive map, you can see there's a bunch over here, and if we also open the teleportation point, you can see it's a teleportation point right over here. This is really nice if you're going for those. And also come to the Spire Abyss and there's a lot over here. In the Spire Abyss set, as you walk out of the gate, you get to get about 10 of the white mines or the white minerals. Most of us don't loot the white minerals that much. And those are really good. And finally, if you look on this particular site, if you are in for a bit of mountain climbing and a lot of scaling, this is a really good point to get a lot of the white minerals or the silver mines. <laughs> Keep calling them the wrong ones. So notice this side is really nice next to the teleportation point. So with all those three sides, you can easily get over 30 of your event minerals. Now coming over to the herbs tip. Now if you guys are looking for herbs, there's a lot of them. Awfully a lot. If you guys are also looking for something to upgrade your characters, do this together to get a double benefit. Let's say if you're upgrading for Ganyu, go for the particular flowers, this can really help. But for my particular case, I really like these Cecilias because they're all located on this mountain. There's over 30 of them on the cliff. It does take a while to travel because the, close, because the closest waypoint is over here. But once you make up to the mountains, you get over 30 of the flowers just from the Cecilias. And this can also be used to upgrade monsters or to upgrade the characters and talents, of course. But for me, a location with a lot of flowers, over 30 of them is really good. So there is a lot of ways, you know, if you're going for the particular flowers, the asters are pretty good. So over here, you can come to the particular, what are they called, the statue of the seven. So if you come over here, there is over 20 or at least 15 of those specialty flowers next to the teleportation point. So those two are really good locations for a lot of flowers. And hopefully you guys get enough of those materials. Remember guys, if your event has not started, don't collect the materials. Wait for your event to start, then collect them. This guide is to prepare you guys to get as many charlatans as you can with all the resources that's available with this one, with this one, and with this one. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news, and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with sketching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.